What's up, y'all? It's Ann Glizzy, and this Bible Sun TV. And today we got the end of Fat Trail career. Make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. Y'all might as well get y'all some popcorn. This is going to be a long story. We're going to be here for a while. So as y'all all know, Fat Trail been speaking on Ann Glizzy. Whole lot of Ann Glizzy, this whole lot of Ann Glizzy, that. Ann Glizzy been speaking on Fat Trail, whole lot of Fat Trail, this whole lot of Fat Trail, that. Me and Fat Trail used to be mutual back in the day. We used to be cool. We used to be friends. Like, him and Shy got into it back in the day when me and Shy used to hang together. And I pushed up on him about it. You know what I'm saying? Make sure y'all subscribe. Get y'all some merch. So Shy and Fat Trail was into it. Fat Trail is Wale's muscle. I'm the nigga Shy used to call when he get in trouble to go deal with Fat Trail. Fat Trail called some guys from Chicago to help him. They got dealt with too. So me in the situation, I'm gonna deal with her. That's how I feel like it. Like, I don't look at Fat Trail as my muscle because when Shy call me, I go get on trail. I don't look at Wale as a gangster because he look up the trail. Trail is, I chase trail. I'm gonna get into the story. I don't know how y'all think these guys are gangsta. If we was in the room, all right, don't y'all know how they be like, they, they be, I be seeing like little polls. They be like A, B, C, or D, like this NBA player. If you can take them out the NBA, who would you take out and they'd be all players? If your life was in danger and you need somebody to let some rounds off for you, who would it be? A, Ann Glizzy, B, Shy Glizzy, C, Fat Trail, or D, Wale? Your life is on the line. It's up to you to answer that question. Who would you get? If you had to, it's like the video game, let's play a video game. If you had to pick a character to drop buckets for you, who would it be? There's <laughs> no way you overlook Uncle Buckets, but let's get into it. So, Fat Trail made a song, Disrespect, I mean, Respect with the Tech, Shy Glizzy made Disrespect with the Tech, we into it. So, we see Fat Trail at like stadium one day. All right, I'm just making a scenario. This is the before the Chief keep at the stadium time. Me, it's me, Shy, and Benny. And Benny is Shy manager at the time. Benny good good dude. Benny good guy. One thing I can tell y'all about all this, Benny a good guy, y'all. I ain't got nothing. If you got something bad to say about Benny, he's just a hater. He just in his lane. He just good guy, man. Businessman. Real businessman. Definitely a businessman. So we at the club. We outside the stadium. We sitting outside the stadium because he heard Trail and it was in there. I'm like, bro, we going in the club. Come on, bro. He like, all right. I said, convince him, like, we going in, bro. Nobody care, bro. I'm going to get up. I'm going to let them know what's up, bro. We going in the club. I'm not really tripping on Fat Trail. And, like, Fat Trail doesn't scare me, fear me, or nothing. This is a fat, goofy, booty-eating, strippers, kissing ass nigga. Like, he ain't on nothing. Catrell. Uh, what I was about to say, so, we we in the, we in the car. I'm like, come on, shall we going in? So, me, him, and Benny, we get out the car. Should we going in? I see Trail in there. Trail in there with the slutty boys. Trail got the slutty boys in there, and him and his men, they probably like 30, 40 deep. They deep <laughs> Trail, like immediate men, it's probably like four of them who close to the trail, like beside them. Everybody else scattered out, they in a section. I see them as soon as we walk in. I walk in, Shy walk in. We not sitting on the regular uh, floor, uh, the floor section, so you know everybody in stadium in the same VIP. You even in that one jump by that door when you come in on this aisle, or you in that booth up there where everybody in the whole row jump. So we on the whole row jump in the booth, Trail them up there too. We go in there. I go in there. Shy, come on, Shy. We gone. They beefing. It's all out. It's supposed to be up between them, but I ain't. We, we had stayed in, bro. We chilling. Nothing happened. I seen Fat Trail. I went and got up on him. I went into his ear and I told him, hey, bro, y'all playing here, bro. I swear to God, bro. We ain't on. I'm going to blow one of y'all up in here on my mother, bro. I swear to God, I told him just like that. You like, man, we ain't no, we ain't got to make no head moves. I right, bet we ain't no learn. And kept it moving. We kept it cordial. It was mutual. Like, they don't be on nothing. They forgot about this. If they do drugs, they do, they do like drugs and they on like running off a high and want to be rock stars and celebrities. They ain't really on nothing, bro. I tell you, I done text all they temperature, like tested already. These are true factual stories. They gonna make it seem like I'm telling lies, I'm tripping out or something, bro. I got more sense than all these guys. Don't believe that. This is a character for YouTube, but in real life, before YouTube, I got my name from chasing these niggas. I got my name from protecting Shy Glizzy. I got my name from chasing Fat Trail. I got my name from these niggas, like off these niggas, bro. I ain't come from YouTube. They got created, 
a microphone and a beat did not create me. These guys got created by a microphone and a beat. I'm going to give you an example. Take a microphone and a beat and a video camera. Tell Shaq Lizzy he never can use them three things again. He'll disappear. You tell me I don't got to can't use a microphone and can't shoot a music video or can't go to a studio. Take that my life right now. Nothing happened. They are only living by a microphone. They hanging on by the damn mic. You know what I'm saying? My sponsors. So we hashed that out. Long story short, we did a song together. We became cool. He was calling me from jail. Bed TV ended up blowing up. And he was, you know what I'm saying? A fan of it. He told me he gonna do an interview on Bed TV when he come home. We just chopping it up. We had a relationship. We was cool, bro. We was mutual friends. Long story short, in my interviews, I ask questions that people be scared of, people be running from. Like, Fast Trail gonna run from these questions. I'm going to ask him about why is the slutty boys hot, all this paperwork on them. Do he want to speak on it, tell us what the reason that he don't be around slutty boys no more. I heard Mike Mike robbed him back in the day. You know what I'm saying? Ran him out the neighborhood. I want to know about that. He ran off on the peoples out Alexandria, Virginia with the uh, red bands that he rapped red. He ran off with the car, got it on the CP, and they ain't seen him since they've been looking for him. He got kicked out of MMG. He can't get a free wing stop wing right now. We couldn't get lemon peppers for E Street right now. Couldn't get a lemon pepper dinner down there. So now and all this going on, I'm already having a crazy day. Then I feel like I'm getting into it with the beat guy. Like, sheesh. I'm like, it's crazy. Then I see a post Fat Trail trying to out itself. Fat Trail go up a post something like, they going to feel him better in the afterlife. I don't know what he talking about. I'm like, oh, man. First thing I thought is, Big TV is not that stressful. It's not that stressful. Fat Trail ready to out itself. Like, he went out. He don't even want to be here no more. He straight just giving up. Like, it's over. I don't want to be in this no more. He breathing different. He walking different. Trail, let me tell you this, bro. It's kids that watch you, so you got to watch what you say. Even on your bad days, you can't show your bad days. You got to be a superhero. If you don't know what superhero, I'm going to tell you what it is. I play superhero roles. It's nobody I can cry to. It's nobody going to feel sorry for me. If I lose some money, it's nobody can cover for me. I'm the biggest. I ask to be the biggest. This is the life of the boss. I'm the biggest. I got the most in my family. I got the most everything, so I get the most trouble. I get the most problems. I get the most irritation, and I have nobody to cry to because there's nobody bigger than me but God, so all I can do is cry to God. But this is what I'm gonna tell you though, I'm not even that bad of a person. I'm not gonna kick you while you're down. I just wanna give you some motivation now and let you know, like, you too old for this, bro. Snap out of it when you realize it's get rich or die trying, bro. You gonna die anyway. You ain't gotta rush it on you. Nobody wish death on you, bro. I don't even wish death on you. Yeah, I bid off you. That's my job. That's what I do for a living, but I don't want you dead. Cause if I did, you know how to hop down that green jump down East Street and hit you with that bet. I'm just f with you, bro. I'm bad. But you. I don't even want you, they don't want nothing to happen to you, bro. Just get your life together. This is what it is. You getting emotional off that couple. So he went and do an interview. He like, man, I got you. I'm going to do an interview. He he just came home from jail, so he's doing like a press run. Not a real press run, like one of the federal press runs, because he just came home from jail. He ain't really know why he trying to get his feet wet. So he lies to me like, yeah, bro, I'm about to go to Drink drink Champs. I did a Drink Champ interview. I'm going to double back do the Bob's on TV. He never in his life got a Drink Champs interview. Fetro ain't like, big enough to go on Drink Champs. He still ain't no Drink Champs to this day. That was just to spin me, to hold me in neutral. So I can think I'm getting the interview, but I'm not getting the interview. I don't even really care about the interview. It's the fact of what he did afterwards. Fetro called me from jail phones. Yeah, I pick up jail phone calls from him. He called me 6 o'clock in the morning. He just off the drink. I'm just listening to him. Let him talk. Let him vent. Just listen to him. Let him cope with his problems. You know what I'm saying? Just being a friend. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Just did for him. Fat Trail loses his mind. Fat Trail, I had a missed call from a number. Six o'clock in the morning. Something about six o'clock in the morning in Fat Trail. This is like his second time. Like six, it said three missed calls. I denied him. I denied him. And I clicked the text message. See what it was? It said, this trail. Pick up. Damn, what you blocked me? I checked the text message. I'm like, man. I don't got the number say I'm like. Who is this calling me six in the morning? I just see it and I blocked the number, but by the time I seen it, it said this trail, and I remember seeing that old text thread from it. So I left it alone, I ain't say nothing. Next day come out, not even the next day, the day I woke up, the day go on. It's a post with all the rappers in there. He trying to squash the beef, all this friendly, I don't know, goofy time. Not even beefing with Fed Trail. Fed Trail, do your thing, do whatever you do. He back on junkie time. He went to mock us, got a shape up. I'm talking about once y'all see this, I knew he was on drugs. It's like after that post though, he posted a cup, a cup of lean right after that. It was like a post all the damn rappers we need to link up and then it was like lean and a cigarette right after him. It was like, bro, who believe in the junkie? This is crystal meth in the cup.
So now he walk around, he lost his shape up. Early since he was, this is what happened, he got that Shy Glizzy curse. Him and Shy was at that Future concert a couple weeks ago, and Shy rolled up on him, now he going ball. I'm telling you, that <laughs> contagious. Stay away from me. No, I do not want to be Glizzy game. So now Trill just on this downfall. I was like, damn, Trill, what's some new music gonna come out? It's like he signed a Rick Ross. My nigga says the nigga running around with dreads talking about he Rose son. <laughs> Nigga trying to get free wing stop and clothes from the boutiques. <laughs> wing stop, boys the men, jagged edge, Luther Van Draws, KC and JoJo. JoJo manager, brother, Michael Jackson, Michael Jordan. It's like who the fuck ain't getting money off Fat Trail besides Fat Trail? It's starting to blow me. It's like bro, drop a song, he keep doing the remix of everybody's song, taking pictures of all these rappers. Like, is this the new rap career? Like, something always coming soon. Like, I'm tired of coming. You got the most coming soon. He had caught a live casino with some fake money. He lost it all. He had a fake Gucci plug, Louis plug. I'm gonna get into that in the story too. Oh, you might have supposed to work at McDonald's or something, bro. Like you just think I'm playing or being, bro. You probably early. It ain't cool. I mean, it's not bad to work at McDonald's. Everything ain't cool. You could have worked at McDonald's, FedEx. That's a cool little job. Go to work every day. Go home to your wife and girlfriend. Fix some little place and start a family with the kids. Real life. You 35 years old, you about to be 40 in a little bit, bro. You still down E Street where you started that smoking cigarettes. You buying the youngest cigarettes. Hey, Charlie, you got a new port on you. Like, come on, bro. Who you playing with? You done lost like 70 pounds. You stressing. I can see it all over your face. And you signed to little cuz from Bowie. Like, you signed to a nigga from Bowie. Like, damn, you could have signed to me. At least I'm from Southeast. I put a dead more for your career. I'm bigger. Could have bought you a bigger chain than that on my grandma. Man, that joint when the came went away, you went on that uh, menu. I gotta give you a real job. Like, where you on at? That's what it came with paperwork, certificate, GIA diamond certified. We ain't gonna get into all that. It's a whole nother story. So, when Fat Trail first came home from jail, y'all, y'all know he was Muslim. He was on his day and he had the big old face in it, I mean, a scar on his face. He was praying, making this prayer, doing everything. So, I'm just on the Insta story saying Fat Trail just on one of his little depressed moments. Insta story, he's just throwing up posters. So, he thought he whipped up a talk. This is Fat Trail. He was signed to MMG. This is Rick Ross artist. He was in the same group with Meek Mills and Wale. He just whipped up a, a, a Murray steak sandwich junk, cut up some red peppers on there, and threw some bacon, chopped bacon on there, and tagged this man in and like just whipped up a torso. Bro, sit the f out of here. You ain't supposed to be eating that, bro. Like, all your side, we from the struggle, but you acting like you still struggling, bro. Like, I ain't seen the straight, bro. I got enough money to never see the struggle again. I ain't never been back. I ain't representing the struggle, nigga. I was only in the struggle because I was really struggling. You out here representing the struggle. I'm not representing the struggle. I'm not from a hood. I was only in that hood because my mother was broke, my father was broke. They took me home from the hospital and I was from that hood. I had to be from there. What the was I was going to be from? That's where I went outside that every day. That's the only place I could play. That's where mom lived. You feel what I'm saying? I don't want to represent this. You keep going everywhere with hooking up hookups. Yeah, you hooking up hookups because Roof is right around the corner. I know you go buy some of that. It's only sixty dollars. This might swipe your card or something. Do something. Swipe it. I know you ain't <laughs> cards no more. You got caught down live casino. You ain't even playing with no scam. <laughs> you got sixty five years this time. This one I knew Fat Trail was broke though. Fat Trail was the only rapper in America that can go to jail for DUI. Like rappers can go to jail, but not for that type. Of <laughs> no DUI. Hell no. Nah, not no rich nigga. Rich nigga rapper go to jail for DUI. Bro, a young boy allegedly got caught in the drive by and got in the box. The hell. You went to jail for DUI. Who the hell is your lawyer? Your lawyer ain't better than my lawyer. That's Mr. Libowitz. That nigga lawyer, Mr. Libowitz. Y'all know who Mr. Libowitz is? That's uh, Rob on Three Strikes lawyer. Who he got from E40? E40 said, man, that's my man. What's up, young weepalization, man? What's up with you? Weep with my people. I'm going to hook you up with my man. Man, meet him at the church, man. Right there up on Garfield. Mr. Uh, Mr. Libowitz. That's his name. Just here to tell you. Trail is crazy. So he whip up the bacon junk wool at his man. I'm like, damn. He just was Muslim before this. That's why I know he be lying about them interviews. He don't even remember what he was in jail. So I know he don't remember what he told me in jail about that interview. I know he be on like, damn, I should have just did that interview. You can only even be on Drink Champs. I, I be, every episode, I be like, all right, next Fat Trail. I know Fat Trail coming. He getting farther and farther away from Drink Champs. Don't you know nigga career? He get closer to Drink Champs. He getting farther and farther. <laughs> Shit is crazy. He getting so farther, he should might as well go back and be a father, if that makes sense. So I'm just thinking like, damn. This nigga's trail is great, so he whip up the bacon junk at his man. He was doing his prayer in jail. He forget everything. He forget he was Muslim. I think about it, man, so much as a baconator. He came out of jail happy 
three Muslim. Like he ran out that joint like happy ark, like Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. He was out of there. You hear me? Ran straight to a baconator. He whipped that joint up personally. It ain't like they accidentally put bacon on the sandwich and he ate it. No, he preferred bacon. Like he ain't just prefer strips of bacon. He know how he wanted his bacon. He diced it up. Like he had a he had a he had a flavor for diced up bacon. Man, I can't make this. I'm just saying. If I see Trill and Juma over there, they make it a foot in this. You hear me? It's for all dog brothers. Trill and Kufa. Trill, I just make these videos to get into your skin. I know they're getting into your skin. I would say come get an interview, but I only feel like making you famous. These interviews are bigger than you now. That's crazy, though. You see how life turns? See how tables turn? At first, I was trying to get you an interview before it started popping off, like in the right. And when, like, I was trying to get you from the struggle, but no, you spent your man. Look at it. these interviews are bigger than you. I'm telling you, Young Threat do more numbers than you, Slim. I'm telling you, Cray. Cray did 50,000 in a day. It's no platform for Trill going and do 50,000 a day. Maybe no jumbo, but. About nothing. And I'm here to tell you, I don't even mean to brag on nothing. Shy Glizzy and Fed Trill, my DJ Academics interview in five days is bigger than any ever interview y'all ever did in y'all life. <laughs> and I'm not even a rapper. <laughs> Feels good though. Y'all, this is just a motivation, y'all. I started from the back of the line. I swear to God, they used to have DMV lists, rap lists. 200 rappers, I wasn't on none of them jokes. I'm not even a rapper no more, I'm at the top of the list. I'm so far up on the list, I'm like by myself, I'm in my own world. I be pulling rappers up with me. So I'm here to tell y'all, this is for all the rappers in the city. If y'all be, y'all ain't gotta be loyal to me, I don't care about being loyal, we ain't about to hang out, kick it and slide together anyway. But all y'all gotta do is have y'all own opinion, bro. I'm just tell y'all, Barber Sun Records can help your career. You trying to get on Say Cheese, they watch me. You trying to get on No Jumper, they watch me. You trying to get on Academics, they watch me. I'm telling you, sometimes you gotta just tuck your pride away. This is how the, the East Coast, I'm telling you. So now as I'm talking at Trail about the interview, we preparing for the interview. He like, you gonna do it at the Drink Champs, never get a Drink Champs. Like a week later, he go do an interview, but I ain't even tripping on the interview. You can do whatever you want to do. In the interview, they asked him a question about Wale. Like, people saying Wale ain't from the DMV, this, that, and the third. They using that question just to see what he going to say about Ang Lizzy. Ang Lizzy is popping at the time. If Trill just came home, he don't know his clickbait. Everybody using Ang Lizzy name and then captions right now. They using me all over YouTube, all over the DMV to build YouTube channels and everything. I'm a popular name to use right now. So they asked him a question and he go off like, anybody talking about Wale know what's up? I defend Wale, Wale ain't going like this, this, that, and the third. He a man, he a dude, this, this. He was talking directly to me. It was like a slap in the face. I just talked to Fat Trail two days ago about Wale. But long story short, to this day, fast forward, me and Wale squashed out a little differences. I be chopping it up, I be hollering at Wale. Meek Mills tried to go off on Wale. We did and that. That's the end of the world. I'm like, that ain't nothing. <laughs> you feel me? Like, that'll be the end of the world if Meek Mills ever think. He can link up with me. Me try to link up with me, y'all. This which I don't know in the back end. Me try to link up with me and run and go against Wale, but I didn't ball for it because it's the home team. It's us against the world. Like, I love Philadelphia. Meek Mills ain't Philadelphia. My real men in Philly. Shout out to them. Shout out to AIF. Shout out to the men. But, so Fetrell is in his little high haters. I guess he taking off rap now because I ended his career. So now he didn't do the interview. He said that about Wale. Now I pull him up about what he said about Wale in the interview. Now they go back and forth. We've been going back and forth. That's when all this nonsense started. So now me and Trill edit. Not edit, but we going back and forth on Instagram live, this, that, and the third. But Trill get on live, and I guess he with the, I can't even say his name, do the uh, court stipulation, but he in the car with somebody. He passed this guy in the car, the phone. I don't even know why this guy got the phone. This guy started talking to me. I don't even know how he got in or anything. Long story short, me and that guy had a verbal conversation. I ended up in jail behind it. I tell Fat Trill I got in, I went to jail because I was arguing with you on IG Live. You put a nigga on the phone. I went to jail connected to him. He told me that ain't got nothing to do with him. His people's long story short, rocking nonsense. I'm on Trill line now, like man, whatever. Now you goofy. Long story short. I see him everywhere. I see him out. Everybody send me a video, pictures. I'm inside man follow him every day. He lived with a girl, a female. He stay in her house. He fixed him. He like a gigolo. He had a girlfriend that he came home to, the girl he loved, that fixed him all the place, that live in the ghetto, that he bought the body and all that. And she she left him too. Like she gone. Now he fake try to go off on her, curry her, and fake expose her. Bro, while you was in jail, you was posting that girl every Wednesday. Like that was your wife, this and the third. He go from a wife to a bachelor in three days. It's crazy. It's insane to me. So, yeah, he make up these made up non beliefs, non believable stories about him and his females and how he have it. Fetch real whole career is based off him linking up with rappers, going around, taking pictures with them, act like they got verses on the way. Fetch real signing so many people, y'all. 
he couldn't even drop a song right now anyway. He dropped a little mixtape that nobody cared about. Don't make no money off him. I sure don't have a thousand dollars to his name. He probably got eight hundred, and I probably got that holding on to it. Somebody probably loaned him that. Fed Trail down East Street selling Huff. So long story short, my homeboy from Fed Trail neighborhood, Fast Lady, Fast Lady, that's my homeboy, that's my partner. Fed Trail is letting Mo, Young Mo just dropped a song or something like dissing me or Slutty. I don't know what he doing. I don't even care. Uh. He said something about me and Slutty. He was disrespecting Slutty. got ended up getting shot. He was disrespecting Slutty about being shot. It's like, bro, when he was in jail, Slutty was holding down Slutty, boy. Like, he held that down. The whole world know that, bro. Like, you ain't even got, well, I'm uh, loyal to you. Yeah, you ain't even being loyal to the fast Slutty. Like, bro, you anything. Down MGE, kicked him out of MGE. I thought this big TV stuff. I ain't seen around Swirly. He got into it with Jizzle. He just, like, all over the place now. I don't know what he got going on. So this is how we get to here today. Fed Trail, see, first of all, man, Glizzy, I drive a green Jeep. The whole world see me in a green Jeep. I pull up on the homeless, tell everybody, meet me outside. I'm about to pull up feed the homeless in this green Jeep. This green Jeep is for YouTube. Y'all have cars. I just drive this green Jeep. Everybody sees this green Jeep. This green Jeep, I will show y'all this green Jeep. This green Jeep is all over YouTube. I put it everywhere. This green Jeep is famous, just like me. Long story short, they think this green Jeep just be parked in a garage somewhere and it never moves. So you might see it out down the highway. You might see it parked in some parking lots. You might see it out and about. My family driving, my cousins, my uncles, people. Like, this just, just a car. No one cares. Y'all just take it serious. like promotion. It's like a free promotion. Like, I seen you on 495. All right, cool. Just keep your mind on English. So they see my car parked somewhere. Somebody take a picture of my car. Send it to Fed Trail. Fetrell's mad because I really posted him leaving the gas station. He was leaving the gas station. He was in a full focus, like a full fusion or something. Like one of them police jump out gun squad cars. He was in one of them jumps. And he was looking like a police officer. And he mad at me that he was looking like a police officer. I don't have that one. No. Nope. Nah, she said tomorrow. T well, tomorrow's fine. That's good. All right, yeah. He down bad. He went and got a muffin. He got caught out uh, at the gas station buying a muffin. And he mad. So he posts my car like he had the one up on me. This and the I'm going to show y'all the picture of the person in my car. My car was parked somewhere. And the person sent the picture to Fed Trail. It was some fans out Y'all, they didn't touch my car at all. But I'm going to tell you how hot this is. They went to my car. They didn't even go to my car. Like, he was beside my car. Like, he didn't even touch my car. Went by my car. He turned, He was hiding from my car. I'm sure that people, Tell me, am I, is my car hiding or is he hiding? They so scared of me. They put an emoji over this guy's eyeballs. Like, I couldn't even see his eyeballs. Like, come on, bro. Stop playing. I ain't that good. Inside man ain't that good, bro. You can show an eyeball. They hit this man eyeballs and eyelashes. Like, they hit him. They really hit him. Like, is my car hiding or he hiding? Like, this is a parking lot. Or endless cars. I got a green car. The whole complex high-rise building. No, they're going to know it's Angeles. I don't care. Tell me who I am. I look like he was hiding from the car. I swear, like, he was hiding. Like, he was driving me safe. But we ain't going to get into all that. But that's what he posted. And this, that, and the third. Now they feel like they got the one up on me. They ran up on Angeles. He this, that, and the third. Now they making up videos and some guys got up on I don't know, y'all. But I'm telling y'all, this the internet. Believe me. Just believe me. Because I don't know where they making up these artificial made up make believe stories this is what they do when they can't conquer me they ain't nothing to say nothing to say about me so they make up stories so he made up this this is why he mad but he don't have no money he lost it all fat trail i can sign you i'm just about to go up with the racks and just curl you like i'm gonna drop a fat trail diss on y'all i'm gonna go rap him give me like a week i'm gonna put together a diss on i'm gonna curry him like fat trail i start back rapping i'm bigger than you bro like you ain't relevant your raps ain't better than mine i promise y'all and y'all here, y'all delusional because he been the image here. Fatrell doesn't have a song that's bigger than Aunt Glizzy having fun. Aunt Glizzy having fun is bigger than every song Fatrell ever rapped in his life. He been with Rick Ross, everybody and everything. I'm sorry that it came out on uh, Spinrella and live mixtapes them days and the numbers because gone because the websites deleted. But, bro, he don't have a song bigger than me, y'all. Fatrell just was one of the first rappers in the DMV. Not the best rapper. He ain't never did nothing. He ain't accomplished nothing. He ain't bigger than nobody here right now. Like, nobody. So I guess he just sitting at home frustrated that his career over. He got kicked. He got kicked out of No Limit. He got kicked out of MMG. He got kicked out of everything. He just a kicker. They be kicking it. He be kicking it. Kick, kick, kicking him. But yeah, no, he ain't even fat trail, trail no more. He just trail. He be at the chiropractor. I seen him at like chiropractor. They was cracking his back. He do like the crack back Instagram commercial jumps. Like that man is wow. 
But yeah, that's just a part of the game, y'all. But Fashion career is over. This all started with him and in the interview. All he had to do was do the interview, y'all. All he had to do was do the interview. Keep it real. I'm going to pop some questions. You can ask something back. It ain't that serious. You don't even really got to answer the question. But I only want no interview from you now, bro. Because I don't need you. I swear I don't need you. I'm on my way to no jumper. Oh, I'm going to dish you. You know what I get there, I'm going to dish you. But I don't even need you, though, y'all. I got a surprise from the channel. I'm going to show y'all. But don't believe these rappers, y'all. I'm going to tell y'all before Instagram. When Shy Glizzy got into a Fat Trill, Fat Trill called me. Fat Trill couldn't handle me, so he had to call backup. He had to go call Chief Even them. Chief Even them came here, and they left. Like, I'm just here to tell you. I ain't come from it, man. Come on, man. I'm just here to tell y'all, man. When the loyalty at, you broke, boy, the whole world can see that. <laughs> How you feel now? <laughs> I bet you'll leave me alone now. You ain't know nothing. And on my mother, I'll pull up down East Street. I'll pull up down East Street, bro. Slutty be down East Street, bro. He be outside with the men. It ain't one person down East Street say, Fat Trill, put him on, bro. You still on Bennett Road. Come on, back to Bennett Road. You never left. As y'all know, Fat Trill been posting my car doing all this nonsense. Him and Big Hot Cuz. Ain't no looking for me. Only person can pull up on me is the police, so y'all. The police said they pulled me over to do a wellness check. I don't know what a wellness check is, y'all, but. The police pulled me over to do a wellness check, and I guess they did a wellness check on me, and I was good. I passed. I don't know what that means. But they pulled me over, asked for my license registration, got my girl license registration. They didn't even want it for real. They didn't say nothing to me or nothing. And then at the end, they didn't want to search the car or nothing. At the end, you know what they told me? We just seen Fat Trail post your car. We just were doing a wellness check, trying to make sure you all right, make sure the goons ain't out here in your bushes. I said, what? This is insane. Yeah, um, insurance to the car. Insane. He said, yeah, and we watch you. I'm about to go watch Bob's son TV right now. I said, man, this is crazy. I'm not saying Fat Trail High when you put the police on them. We all already know the police are young. They our age. They watch this and all that. But why y'all sending the police in my truck? I don't be getting y'all pulled over. I'm trying to get me pulled over. It's cool, though. Y'all, I'm outside of my truck today, minding my business, enjoying my day. But that's just the way to go. the game go. Fat Trail and them uh, ain't on nothing. I got a pink pimple patch on my face. I can't take myself serious, y'all. I take YouTube too serious, y'all. I did it with the pimple patch on. Just to let y'all know it's real. And it's a pink hot job. That's crazy. But yeah, Fat Trail was loving that girl before he came home. The girl that he tried to buy the body. He bought her a body and I still ain't know he bought her a body. It's insane. But yeah, I know my car uh, too loud. We ain't gonna get it and all that. But yeah, Fat Trail sick the police on me though. Last night, y'all, they pulled me over. I'm, I got it on video. I'll show y'all. So can y'all stop? Tipping, acting like some gangster going on. I drive a green car. If you see it, get active. Stop putting the police on me, man. Bob or something.